Hello everyone, this is Breaking 397 coming to you with a review of 2015 No Nua. Wait, get out of here. Alright. Here he is. 2015 No Nua. In his all and powerful glory. And he's holding on to his skull spire. Go with that disgusting thing. Yeah, skull spire. Whoop de doo. No, really nothing new for those guys. I mean, basically just the same thing. Anyways, let's um talk about 2015 Onua. Um, I really like his mask. I really do. It's really cool. It definitely looks like the original in a way, just um. A little bit changes here and there. He's got some. He's really, he's a really bulky guy. He's got a very nice hammer. He's probably one of the most well built. I mean, look at look at those look at those freaking those shoulder expansions. Just damn, this guy's been working out. Oh, fortunately, he's really short, but we'll get to that later. I honestly really like these feet. Because, I mean, imagine this big guy. He's walking around. Um, I'm not sure if there's no one out there that does complain about the legs. But let me tell you. Let me ask you. People out there that do do that. Let me ask you something. Do you think that this low... This little foot is going to support all this weight, all that weight on this guy. I don't think so. This guy, it, this Anua is is huge in size. I mean, he'd be like, I mean, of course, to the tall ones, he's like, he's enormous in size. So he needs his these really big feet to support that weight. Though, the set himself is not so big. I mean, he's he's bulky in size. I really, I really like him. But the problem is, is that he is well, he is disgustingly short. And he is, there's really not much to say about him, other than the fact I really like him. I like these uh, stickers that you put on his chest, they go well with his element, and they're symmetrical. They're very even. Also, whenever I was trying his uh, gearbox, um, it was really stiff actually. I'm not sure if anyone has this kind of problem, like I do. I mean, look, look. Oh, damn it! No, 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 no. Well, you know what I mean. He's the joints are really, really stiff. The ball, the um, the uh, gearbox itself is really tight and really tight and such. I um, what else is there do I like? Uh, yeah. I like these new pieces that they got for his um, shoulder pads and his uh, hammer, which you can actually make his claws. And yeah, he's got he's got the um, quote unquote yellow eyes, but they're not really yellow. They look they're more like a greenish yellow, like Mountain Dew. That's why I call it. That's why I call it Mountain Dew Green. Mountain Dew green, yellow. That's, that's what it looks like. It looks like freaking Mountain Dew. Um, also another piece I, that I'm pretty sure people like um, Ross over like. Look at that. He's got translucent purple pieces for crying out loud. That's that's new. I mean, we've originally had 
things like red and translucent orange and other colors like um, the Mountain Dew yellow green but this 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 is new imagine that in with like a fists now this color or or even this piece with this color or that piece this piece right here in a transparent in a trans I mean, not trans but translucent purple Bora guys in trans purple chain pieces in trans purple that would be that is like that's a new beginning that's like that those kind of pieces would be so helpful in mock making that you you could do a lot with it basically you know his articulation head moves he's like oh, he's got actually got a ball joint in the um one of those pieces that you see like in the arms well mostly like for the show pads that you use for the other toas he's actually got one for his neck and it he actually looks like he has a freaking neck so he can he can he can look really high up and it looks looks good Looks really, really good. Uh, of course, his arms move and legs move, arms move, knee, elbow moves, hand moves. You know, but he does have a um, couple of, and of course, show pads move, so you can basically pose wherever you want. Now he's got another extra articulation because his um, his chest is is attached to these. Um, yeah, you can see it. Um, he's got those pieces, so he can actually um, make some look like he's like flexing his muscles, like like uh, I'm so burly, I'm so big and bulky, and such. Yeah. And also, my parents are home, so yeah. There's that um, size comparison. Fortunately, I do not have any of the Toa sets, but if you want to um, get main idea, go watch um, like uh, Byrock Dude's review of this guy, and uh, you'll you'll get a general idea. He is very short, like Tahu's like comes up like up to here. Gali like, like come up to here. Bahatu would be, I think Bahatu would be like the same height as him. I don't know, I, I don't have the set, so I can't really say, so I can't really explain that part. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to actually be getting a Bahatu for, I'd be actually be saving Bahatu for last because he's not really that good of a set. And of course, you know, the whole, sh you know, the whole scenario, Whoa. it's falling off on me. Stand, man. You're supposed to be a burly man. Stand. Yeah, if you if you know where that joke's from, then uh, I'll give you a cookie. Actually, if I had one, I'd give you a cookie. Because I'm like that. And, of course, you could put on the mask and make him become the master of Earth. Or you could just have the Skull Spiders. What I really like about a new is that the Skull Spider can actually... Wrap around his head like so. So he's he's ear part. So there you go. Yeah, it can actually fit around his face, unlike the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such. Also, oh, I also like these uh, pieces here. They cover up like those little those holes, and he looks more filled in, somewhat. Uh, if I attach more pieces into here, um, he'll look more bulky. 
Um, also, I might change his legs just so to make him taller. I have the material. Well, not the black pieces, but I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. He's got black fist. Oop de doo. No, oop de doo. Nothing special, really, sadly. But um, I um, highly recommend this guy. He's really cool. Yeah, that, unfortunately, again, I don't really have much to say about this guy other than, um, it's really cool. I definitely highly recommend you get him. Uh, for 20 bucks, I definitely say he is definitely worth it because he has, um, 108 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. Even for, even for, even for this guy. Despite his size, he's, um... He's a very good. He's a very good purchase. Um, flaws. Um, the gold. I would actually very much prefer that to be like a, like a silver. Or, maybe a black, just so it goes well with the colors, and uh, maybe have his legs be a little bit more bulky. But that's just my opinion. That's my only. That's my only gripe in the fact that, um, well, he's short. He's very short. It's like Chi Gorzan short. Even though I don't really have that set, but I got the general idea of how he's like. What what those two have is similar. He, yeah, he kind of has like a gorilla body, in a way. For some reason, minus the um. He's got a big, he's got a very huge torso, but he, he's got to kind of have like small appendages, like arms, legs, head. So judging by his head size, I wouldn't say he'd be very bright. Uh, the character himself, uh, so far in the series, he seems, eh, he's not that tough outgoing badass that he was in the original series. So yeah, um, I definitely give him a a um, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten because um, he's short, and the gold pieces kind of give kind of destroy the look. Again, I very much prefer if they were either black or silver. Only then would it probably go good with it. So yeah. 2015 uh, Nua. Definitely high ranking. Uh, 20 bucks. I'd probably say that he'd definitely be worth it. But I wouldn't suggest you pay for I wouldn't suggest you pay that much unless if you really want this guy. So yeah, I'll catch you all later. Um, next would be Pahatu. Laters.